Suppose you wish to purchase an annuity where payments increase every year after the first by some fixed percent H. For example, at the end of the first year, it pays out R dollars. At the end of the second year, it pays out R dollars increased by H percent, which mathematically translates to a factor of 1 plus H. At the end of the third year, the previous year's payment again increases by H percent. Since 1 plus H is being multiplied again, we can simply write it as a power with the exponent 2, and so on. To calculate the present value of such an annuity, we use the following formula. Notice that we have some repeat variables from the past. PV represents present value. PMT represents the initial first payment. I represents the interest rate per period, and N represents the total number of periods. The new variable here is H, and that represents the increase factor per period. Note that I cannot equal to H, because if that's the case, the denominator becomes zero, and we cannot compute it. So where would we use such a formula? Let's take a look at a scenario. You would like to purchase a 20-year annuity that will grow annually at an expected inflation rate of 3%. Payments will be made at the end of each year, starting with $10,000 at the end of this year. If the annual interest rate is 6%, what would be the present value of this annuity? The first thing that stands out is that the cash flow frequency of yearly corresponds to the compounding frequency of the interest rate. This means we don't have to modify the interest rate in any way. The payments are also being made at the end of the year, so this is not an annuity due situation. Furthermore, the 20 years represents the total number of periods, so that will be our value of n. Our value of h will be 3%, which translates to 0.03. i will represent 0.06, and PMT will be 10,000. With that being said, let's go ahead and apply those values into the formula. To calculate the present value, we write in PV is equal to our very first payment of 10,000, one year from today. And in brackets, we have in the numerator of our fraction, one take away one plus 0 0.03 over one plus 0 0.06. That's all being raised to the exponent of 20. Over, at the bottom, we subtract 0 0.06 and 0 0.03. Now we must place this into our calculator. That on its own requires a bit of calculator competence. So let me show you how it's done. We begin with the factor 10,000, open up your bracket. Then in the numerator position, we want to wrap that entire expression in parentheses. So I'll open up parentheses, followed by one takeaway, open parenthesis, one 0.03, I just added 1 plus 0 0.03, divided by 1.06, close, and we'll raise that part to the exponent 20, and we'll close the parentheses for the numerator. Now we divide by the difference of those two numbers, 0 0.06, take away 0 0.03. It's very important that you wrap the denominator in parentheses as well. And we close the bracket. This ends up giving us a present value of $145,615.33, where that two is rounded to a three. What this means is that if you expect to receive $10,000 for your first payment, and that 10,000 grows by a factor of 1.03 year after year until the end of the annuity, you must purchase the annuity for $145,615.33 today for you to achieve that goal. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have further questions, leave them in the comment section below. Talk to you all later.